Johnny Allen Hendricks on November 27, 1942, in Seattle. Jimmy was later renamed James Marshall Hendricks by his father. Widely recognised as one of the most creative and influential musicians of the 20th century, Jimi Hendrix pioneered the explosive possibilities of the electric guitar. Hendrix's innovative style of combining fuzz, feedback and controlled distortion created a new musical form. It's nothing short of remarkable that Jimi Hendrix's meteoric rise in the music industry took place in just four short years. Though in his short life, he didn't have enough time to become a full-on gearhead, he did express his appreciation for fast cars as soon as he could afford them. Today, we're taking a look at the car collection of the one and only Jimi Hendrix. Let's begin. The year is 1968. The Jimi Hendrix Experience Band have gained a lot of fame and reputation, and the band is on tour across America promoting their second album, Axis Bold as Love. While at a stop on the tour in Cleveland, Ohio, Jimmy and his bass player Noel Redding are trying to find ways to spend their first big rock star money. What better way to do so than shopping for cars? They set out with their publicist, Mike Goldstein, who was a local lad and knew the neighbourhood car dealers. The crew arrived at Blauschild Chevrolet in Cleveland. There, Jimmy ordered a 1968 Corvette with a 427 big block, finished in Le Mans blue metallic paint. Nineteen sixty-eight was a year of bold new design changes for the Corvette. The new aerodynamic design featured a spoiler in the back, and behind front wheels, functional louvers helped to keep the horses cool. The four twenty-seven V eight versions featured a special high domed hood. Additional transmission choices were four-speed and turbo hydromatic. Jimmy's '68 Corvette was a reflection of his personal style and newfound status, a symbol of freedom and the fast-paced, exhilarating lifestyle that came with his rising fame. However, Jimmy didn't actually have a driver's license at the time, not to mention poor eyesight, and subsequently was caught driving his 68 vet the wrong way down a one-way street. He was fined for the infraction and not having a license, but that wouldn't be the end of his troubles with the Corvette. Hendrix drummer Mitch Mitchell recalls that one Saturday night in Los Angeles, after Jimmy and the band went to a Cream concert, Hendrix went cruising around and crashed the 68 Corvette after veering off the road, totaling the car. In true rock star fashion, after wrecking the 68, Hendrix immediately ordered another Corvette. This time, a Cortez Silver 1969 Corvette with a 427 big block V8 and automatic transmission. It featured a black interior and an aftermarket cassette player from Japan. It's no surprise that Jimmy was ahead of the curve in music technology, as most cars at the time used eight track players. The 69 Corvette featured four wheel disc brakes, an especially good idea for Jimmy. Road grabbing 15 inch wide ovals plus new 8 inch wide wheels and wider tread gave the VET a better grip and an even bolder appearance. Other subtle but significant refinements include a stronger, more rigid frame for improved ride and handling. Jimmy would later have the Corvette painted in candy green metallic. Jimmy got to drive his second Corvette for a bit, although he did keep a pair of glasses with him this time. He brought the car with him to Shokan, New York, where he lived during the summertime while rehearsing for the Woodstock Music Festival. He was also spotted driving his Corvette in downtown Harlem during the Harlem Street Festival, where he played a benefit concert. Shortly after, Hendrix would go on tour to Europe, never to return. When it comes to automobiles, it's safe to say Hendrix was a Chevy man through and through, 
but he also got to cruise around in some other pretty cool rides from time to time, including a bushwhacker dune buggy that he drove around while on tour in Hawaii. There's no evidence Jimmy actually rode, but he was pictured on a 1964 Harley Davidson Panhead motorcycle, which was later used for the South Saturn Delta album cover. Jimi Hendrix's experiences with his Corvettes tell us more about him than just his taste in cars. They show a side of him that was always looking for excitement and new experiences, something that matched the energy he brought to his music. Driving his Corvettes gave Jimmy a break from the demands of his fame, a chance to just be himself, away from the expectations of the world. Music